Hi everybody, Scott Fuller with another edition of the East Bay Real Estate Market Minute, the fastest 60 seconds in real estate. Today I'm going to be talking about five important things you should know before you buy a property that's located within an HOA, otherwise known as a Homeowners Association. Okay, before we get to that, on our website, as always, we have some excellent free resources. Take advantage of them. One is if you're looking to find out what your home is worth, you can click a button and find out immediately what your home is worth. If you need more information on that, let us know. The second thing is um, we, if you're looking to purchase a home in the East Bay, whether it's a property to live in or whether it's a property that you're going to be renting out, we have a great resource to search the entire multiple listing service in Alameda and Contra Costa County. So again, take advantage of those resources. Okay, today we're talking about five important things to know when buying inside of a homeowners association. Homeowners associations can be single family residences in a community or it can be a townhouse or a, a condo community. So any of those may qualify uh, to be in a, in a homeowners association. The first thing you wanna know is what is the cost, the monthly cost associated with that homeowners association. That can range for condos and townhomes, it can range between 250 up to maybe 450 or 500 depending on what the community offers. Uh, the other thing is you want to make sure that you're comfortable with that payment, but also your lender is going to qualify you based off your mortgage, uh, your mortgage payment plus taxes plus your homeowners association. So it's important to know what that amount is, be able to qualify as well for the property you're looking to purchase. Second thing, you're going to want to know what is covered in the HOA. Different things that are covered are going to be include general upkeep of the area, landscaping, uh, if there's a pool, tennis courts, any other types of amenities like that. Also, they may cover the trash, they may cover the water bill, and as well, they may cover the insurance for the property, not the personal policy insurance, but the, uh, the insurance that covers the property itself. And then a lot of times they'll uncover maybe the deck, the patio, uh, different things like that. So find out what the homeowners association covers as well to find out what benefits it's going to offer you. Number three, what are the rules in the HOA? What are the regulations? They're typically going to have different rules. Where can you park? How many people can you have over for what period of time? So understand what those regulations might be based off of what you're looking to do with the property itself. Number four, are you happy with the, the way that the property looks on the outside? The great thing about homeowners associations is it's uniform. They have a specific color. You can paint the house. You can paint the front door, upkeep of the lawn, that sort of thing, making sure it's all taken care of. Well, that could also be a downside for some people because you're going to have less independence on what you can do with that particular property. So make sure you understand you know, the way that the property looks. You may not have a lot of ways to change it from the outside. Number five, how can you get involved? You can be involved in a homeowners association to determine what the benefits are going to be to the community and make the rules. So you can become the homeowners association uh, community member. Basically get on the board and be able to help make decisions um, to further you know, the, uh, the property and the community itself. So again, there you go. Those are five things to know when you're looking to buy a property located in an HOA. If you have any additional questions, as always, feel free to reach out. I appreciate you watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a great day.